Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum and always a reminder for myself and Abduk al Aji Sadaifa, Miskeen, Zahir, Jahan, and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah that in this holy month of Hajj and the completion of Allah's immense mercy and grace by granting us the immense blessings of qurban and to take away a bad character. Reminder always for myself is the tariqah is based on good character. Whatever somebody is hearing we can't be responsible. We are responsible for what we spoke and what we teach. The audience what they hear is in Allah's hands and their hands, their nafs and shaitan means that the teaching comes out very clear that have good character, be kind and merciful, don't judge Allah's creation, don't seem yourself as better than others and that this way of marifa, this way of muhabbat and ishq and love is about the purification of the self, the struggling against oneself and never to inflict anger, harshness, bad character upon others, not to judge others, not to, to send emails saying that these people are bad people, these people are rotten people, this one is a bad person, this is a rotten person and how, how can I keep myself to be pure when I'm surrounded by all these horrible people. This is not tariqah, these are you know signs of something not right in the wiring within your head. Tariqah and all these years of teachings when you listen to the videos it's a very consistent form of teaching. When your wires are not working and you begin to perceive something else from what's being taught then that's you know issue that you have to resolve yourself. That's not what the shaykh taught, that's not what the his shaykh taught and, and that's not the way of Prophet means this way is based on good manners, good manners, good manners. Every single video is about the goodness, the love, the ishq, the way of receiving Allah's blessings and the nazar of Prophet upon ourselves. Anyone whom writes these types of things means they're not getting it. And if they made a mistake and they consistently keep thinking that way means something's off in your neuroceptors of the head, you're hearing something different, you're interpreting something different and that's when it becomes dangerous. That's when it becomes you may need medicine, you may need medical advice when spirituality becomes a source of aggression and anger against people means that's not tariqah, that's something wrong within the mind of that individual that looking for a reason to look at people, be angry with people, everybody is this or everybody is that, that's not at all tariqah. Tariqah is the, the great battle against oneself is that I'm the one whom is wrong when I do my muhasaba it's not or my accounting every night, it's not everybody bothered me but it was supposed to be what was my role in my accounting. So I count, oh this one was like this, this one was like that but what was my role? My role is that Allah wanted to show me my bad character, wanted me to be purified. Allah doesn't change my condition until I change myself and my ability to be patient, my ability to be tolerant my ability to calm myself down, that's tariqah. Not to be aggressive and, and agitated at people and then to be paranoid about people that people are, are vampiring me, people are taking this from me, people are doing like that. This is, this is again the mixing of mental illness trying to get involved with tariqah and there is no mix. That's when the shaykh immediately pulls away from that person. You have to receive medical help 
that the tariqa is not a, a medical clinic, tariqa is, a, is one of the arms of spirituality. The other means that your mind has to be good, your physicality has to be good and then the tariqa comes to speak and teach about spirituality. So if somebody has a physical limitation and a physical ailment, it's not that they come and sit and then say, okay, now that the tariqa will heal them from a physical ailment. They have to go to a doctor, they have heart disease, they have diabetes, whatever they have, they have to go to seek medical attention and then treat that physical ailment. Same for mental illness, when you're not thinking correctly and you're perceiving and you know that your perception is not correct, you're, you're not receiving the information, you have to immediately seek medical attention because nothing in the tariqah will make sense and you'll begin to warp all the teachings because shaitan is now involved in your wires and every talk you're interpreting something different. So that's why th this, this path is based on all three modalities of your brain, your body and your soul has to be under a tarbiya. If there's something wrong with the brain, you get medical advice, you get your medicine. If there's something wrong with the physical body and a, a disease and a sickness, you have to seek medical attention. And then when all of that is correct and, and the, the medicines and under the guidance and everything is in the correct place, then you seek spirituality. Because we said many times that if one of them is off then the body falls under oppression. If the mind is not working and you're trying to sit and meditate, imagine what type of you know hallucinations and thoughts people can have. So then that's oppressive, that won't be correct. And if they sit and meditate and they have physical ailments where they need medication and you know they're about to have heart attacks and sicknesses and sugar disease. They can't sit and do meditation thinking that's going to take that away. So it means all three have to be sort of under guidance and, and not under oppression and have to be resolved. That there is a reminder for myself and those whom are emailing and, and people whom are trying to practice the practices, it's always a, a time to re reflect and recalibrate. The path is based on love, the path is based on on patience and tolerance and not to look to other people but what is it that I'm doing wrong and how to correct myself. If I can correct myself, I can gain Allah's nazar, Allah's sincerity. If I come to tariqah to judge Allah's creation, be angered with the creation and all of them are bad that's why I'm not succeeding, well that, that's, that's not tariqah at all, that's insanity and that will never achieve anything in Allah's way. So this is a, is a very specific understanding, very precise understanding of, of purifying oneself, correcting oneself and that to gain Allah's wajah's nazar and Allah's wajah to grant us the oceans of sincerity which have good character, muhabbat and ishq and everything of a sweetness that you can imagine has to be embodied within the character and the individual that's seeking Allah's satisfaction and seeking Allah's rewards for His rewards are endless and infinite. Those whom are seeking those rewards then they try to achieve those characteristics inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha.